first artificially created memory enhancement. Serum's training protocol is the fastest and most efficient. Stronger than ever. Cybercrime is a type 1 offense. Minimum punishment 15 years. Anchor Robotics guarantees personal safety and protection. Possible cybercrime activity in the Hey, hey, we're back. Episode 10, people. We made it. Awesome. So good to see some people here. Oh, my goodness. 10, 10, 10. Incredible. Oh, my gosh. That's awesome. It is awesome. We can't believe we made it. And look, guys, look who's here with me today. My co-host with the most, Mr. Lord of Thane. Thank you for being here, brother. It's, it wasn't the same last week without you here, man. It just really wasn't the same. But you did a great job anyways. I love the show. And thanks for having me back. And um, yeah, I'm relaxed as I've never been on any of the shows before because I'm on holidays. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So now you can just relax. Now you're on the same time uh, time zone as me. So you don't have to stay up late and all that kind of stuff. So that's good to hear, at least for the next little while. You, you'll be you'll be here on the same timeline as uh, the rest of yeah, the us on the East Coast. This and another three shows, I think. Awesome. OK, that's yeah. cool. That works for me. And look what don't, I got. Don't leave me hanging. Oh, nice. Yay. He, I still haven't gotten mine yet. <laughs> I'm still waiting for Incredible. mine. Incredible. Are they delivering it on the horse up there in Canada? I don't know, man. <laughs> Maybe they got <laughs> snowed in someplace. Or the something. mountains are coming on the horses. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> now, oh, uh, I, I, I ordered it in orange, of course, because, you know, Florida boy or orange. And uh, yep. yeah. <laughs> awesome. It looks good, though. I like it in orange. I love Most it. of the time, people just want to get it in black because it's a pirate thing. But I actually want to get mine in blue. So that's the one that I'm waiting for right now, my blue hoodie. The same color as the one you got me is the same color as my oh, hoodie cool. that I'm getting. So it's going to be cool. I love so, the yeah. It screams beware. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> so people, if you guys are interested in getting our merch, so either Oak, what is it? It's Oat, Oat Smead. Oaksmead Station, Oaks Oaks yeah. Oaksmead, I always say it wrong. Oaksmead Station or Pirates of the Galaxy merch. The links will be in the description after the show, so you can always check that out. And, yeah, you won't be disappointed. The designs are cool. I'm working on a few other designs right now, so hopefully in the next few days you'll have other options as well. So we cool. do appreciate the support, and we thank you guys for being here. So even if you don't get a T-shirt, the very least I ask of you is to subscribe if you're new and click that like button. That's all you or really have to do out. to be a pirate. <laughs> <laughs> so who do we have here today with us? Do we have some people on in the chat? Yeah, there's a few, and I think there'll be more popping in. Justin Welch, so. he's been here, he's been here um, first. He's awesome. been waiting in the Welcome, parking lot, Justin. I think. And Welcome, um, Justin. then this guy, Lord of Thane. Bjorn oh, yeah. Jorgensen, he's oh, here. Bjorn's here, yay! <laughs> hey, he's got a new claim. Geba flubbing. <laughs> I don't even know what that is, but I'll I, don't, I'll, I like it anyways. <laughs> I don't either. And Starboy Station is here, more hey, or less. He's, boy. Dri he's driving home and he's listening to the show while okay, driving so home. We'll, we'll try to talk loud. <laughs> and Justin, <laughs> Justin says he can't wait to see all of the goodies I got got here. Um, no, actually, mail, I so. was gonna say because um, did you want to share that today, or were, were you still waiting for some stuff? Uh, well, um, I have some stuff set up to share and to show. Oh, okay. It's not, not everything is here yet. Um, so okay. it's going to be at least a two part reveal <laughs> nice. for this week and next week. And, um, and next week we'll and, have more time because uh, we won't be doing probably. a creator's corner. Oh, that's awesome. And um, there's more people. Uh, Red Mando is here. Christian, hello. Hey, Red Mando. Service. And um, oh, Bjorn, Bjorn is giving us the Schmebulok as well. <laughs> and when okay, I here. Know. <laughs> hey what's up man good to see you josh thanks for showing up thanks to all you guys for showing up and yeah. as you do guys you know... know sorry go ahead you, you go yeah, ahead do you know who, who cb671 is his instagram handle he's no, he says I hello don't. all the way from guam what 
That's yeah. awesome. So we're truly international. People all over the world. People all over the world. Gary is here as well. So people hey, are showing what's up. up, Gary or Jerry? Life addiction. Brian. Nice. Now they're all coming. Yeah. Yeah, they're all they're all coming because they know that there's an opportunity to win a hoodie. That's why they're all here. <laughs> no, they want to see. I'm just favorites. kidding. They they would be here because they knew you were back this week, so that's why. They're no, all they want to see up. both our faces. <laughs> So, yeah, it's so good to see you guys here. We do have a great show for you guys. As um, the, uh, Justin was saying, he's excited to see some of the goodies that Wait, Mr. Yeah. Lord of Thane has. So he's going to show some of that stuff off. We have some a couple of Greeblies that we want to show off to you guys. And we have in the creator's corner, Frank DiOrio. If you guys don't know him, you guys the will. Man. And he is awesome. He's a, Like I said in my, my promo to this, he is a staple to this community. And he's been around for a while, and he's a big Star Wars fan. So he's, he's, he's the pillar Star Wars. for me. So, yeah. he's the pillar for the yep. Star Wars world filling community. He's the, an, elf. Uh, absolutely the Godfather. Yep, yeah. for sure. I definitely agree with you with that one. He's helped me. He's helped me design a lot of cool things. I don't use his stuff as much anymore, but his newer stuff. Wow, it's actually wow. Just chef's kiss. We'll get into that in a little bit, but. Um, yeah, I guess on... I'm gonna ask how how are you doing? Because you just you just flew all the way to North America and you won a prize on your first day. <laughs> That's pretty cool. And he were, you were so generous to donate the prize because the thing is what the prize was the hoodie, and you said, you know what, let's give that hoodie for next week's prize giveaway. So we're gonna give away the hoodie. So instead of a t-shirt, you're gonna get a hoodie. So Stay tuned for that. We'll get into the details about all of that and how you can win. It's basically just guessing a number, but we'll get into that a little bit later on towards the end of the show. So you got, I guess you want to start us off with some of your goodies? Yeah, why not? Let's let's um, start let's start there. Okay. Mm, just give yeah, me a second. I gotta I'll, figure out how to do the, the whole camera I'll thing. I'll do it. Hold on. All right. I'm, I think I'm getting used to how to do there it. There you yeah. go. Yeah. Here we go. So um where do i start i, I think i start at with the, the part. yeah at the beginning <laughs> uh, well at the beginning okay i started at the beginning really at the beginning i start with some something from um i, I received a lot of stuff from the community i ordered a lot of stuff from third party nice. but i also uh kind of ordered a lot of stuff like real star wars stuff mm -hmm. for my collection um that i wanted to upgrade and let's go way back because oh wow uh, i used to have this or i still have like four of them but none not not one of them is complete and right. these were my favorite ships when i, I was a kid those. yeah i love those i love those. those i always loved the shuttle tidarium and yep. and this was the closest you could get to like have a real yeah. fleet of tidariums and the yeah, work it wasn't until uh, it wasn't until much later on that they came out with the actual lambda class shuttle right that was that's what came out first is what you're holding in your hand yeah and then later on they came out with the bigger version but yeah, yeah that I mean, was my favorite too that little one that you have there i love i that loved thing. it so I, I i spent some some money on ebay to get like a pristine working copy wow. of it and uh, that's in yeah, really I loved good it. shape so this is starting at the beginning nice and, that's um, awesome that also gives me like the four or so I have back home. I can customize those now because they're all incomplete or not working, so I can take right. them apart. Then and another thing that I, I actually never knew existed. I don't know how it passed me, and um, I saw it <laughs> when I, I saw it when I was visiting Red Mando's place last mm -hmm. year, and um, I've been looking for one on eBay ever since, and finally got one for a decent price. I don't know if you know this. Oh yeah! Wow, those I've never I never knew that existed either. That's it's the first amazing. time I'm seeing that vehicle. <laughs> I, I love it. It's a, it's a it's a Republic um, yep. speeder speeder from yeah. the Clone Wars. And uh, I remember that. Yeah. So. Oh man, that's so. Well, cool. Now my vehicles are complete as well in my collection. <laughs> nice. So, okay. I just, I just make my vehicles now. <laughs> <laughs> um. The mini weeks so look awesome. awesome. Yeah, that's right. Just checking the chat a little. So um, then let's continue with some stuff. Some of the some of the entries for my birthday competition that were sent here oh, and that right. already arrived. Yeah. 
Um, two of them are actually arrived in Germany now while I'm not there. So I'll have some <laughs> more rebuilt. It's an endless... When you get back home. Nice. <laughs> and one is still in the mail, uh, but yeah. everything else is here. So oh, I'll nice. start off with playing with my Sprit 375. Oh, which yeah. This beautiful that box is, whoa, that is for cool. the packaging. It's, I love it. And then inside, awesome, man. inside we have his um droid head that he made oh, with, yeah, the, awesome with the awesome lore droid. um now being a cis artifact and the, the lover that's trapped inside nice and, um, yeah that was a good it. backstory yeah and here we nice. have the, the, the droid and he also sent me the power bank and so oh, cool. because it actually lights up yep but i can't do this now live because oh that's okay <laughs> what i what i did thing. last week i showed the pictures of yeah. uh of that with it lit up so yeah, i think it, it was really another cool. build he he made also lit up uh yeah it's like his his um signature thing <laughs> i yeah, really love that those are really cool i thought i was the only one that did lit up uh characters oh. but no he he's he's right there with us and then then um look who popped up popped up in the in the chat hello da uh, yayo nice to hey, have yayo. you so we have japan Welcome. guam all around the world I know Japan, awesome. Guam, and North America and Europe. Wow, we're just kicking it everywhere. I love it. Yeah, hey, yeah, Christian is here from Germany, so Germany is exactly. here. Exactly. So we got everybody, everybody from all over the world. So, and then the next one is going to be Border Station X. Oh, he nice. sent me. He sent me. It's in a little box. Um, I love awesome. when people. I love when people. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off there, but I love when people take the time to to package things nicely and all that kind of stuff. That's part Just of the. You the wait fun. and see. I'm saving. I'm saving something for last. Nice. Uh, which is, <laughs> wow. <laughs> 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 uh, I wish. I wish some factory packaging would be that good. So, mm -hmm. um, this is. This is what I got. From oh Water yeah, Station. I remember that. The, it's the this eye. awesome eye yes. tentacle monster. I and, love um, that. I thought it was actually thought it was bigger than that. That looks actually cute. <laughs> it's about let me see. Um, so here's a he, so he oh, yeah. about the size of a chest of a regular yep. figure. That's so cool. You so, guys are so talented, man. It's just it, awesome. I, I love the sculpt on that. And apparently, the the paint he used, the orange, it's yeah. it's neon glow in the dark. So in my in my black light. Oh uh, yeah, that's uh, right. City, it will look awesome. That's gonna look cool. So yeah, and and it's and as I said, it's gonna be like the surveillance monster for my shop. So oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. Then so you're already I, creating backstories. <laughs> that's awesome. Course. Then I got um, <clears throat> Tim a uh, Gem Gem Nine Stations entry. Oh, Tim um, Gem Gem Nine is AKA Timbo Toys. Yep. And um, I also ordered some stuff from Timbo Toys, and I think he also threw in some goodies. I, I, I ordered so much so that I kind of get confused what I actually paid for and what people are actually giving me. But right. um, his entry was this painted up awesome. Oh, it, yeah. It kind of looks that. like yeah. the ice cream maker's guy thing, but it's like a, a power bank or something. And I remember his backstory was that was like the first thing he made, right? Yes, exactly. And actually sent it to you. The the actual exactly. thing that he made, he sent to you. Like that's it, that it, to me it, says a lot. That's really a museum piece. It's it's yeah, his very sure. first creation and the first copy of that creation. So awesome. oh, I see that's... outer multiverse is here. Welcome. I see playing with my three seven five is here. Welcome, welcome. So glad to see you guys here. Actually, I'm Bobby surprised Mullen you're not is... working. <laughs> <laughs> Normally I think they working. all look. They all watching as it works. <laughs> Probably, and then yeah. um, he also he also sent me two fresh, clean, uh, new prints of the same. Oh, nice! Piece. You those are awesome for world building. You can use them all the time everywhere. Yeah, as a prop. So I love that. And then I know I bought this one from him. Oh, oh nice! It was one of his vendor bots. That's cool. I I love these vending machines. And I also bought, I don't know if you'll pick that up. Um, I bought Nuka Coke uh bottles. Oh, yeah, I forgot that it. Aegis Station made those. Yeah, uh Timbo Toys. Is that Timbo or is that Aegis? That's Aegis, I think, made those. I think didn't I get those from Timbo? And I, think this one? Are, I think those are Aegis. 
the, that's Timbo for sure. I know yeah. that one's Timbo. That's Timbo as well. And I but think, I think the vending machine. I, I think the vending machine is, is okay. Um, chat, help us out. But I, I yeah, chat, let us know because <laughs> we're old, thought, so we forget you things. See, I, I get so much <laughs> stuff. I really kind of got confused, obviously. But nevertheless, whoever made it made a perfect little piece. Yeah, that's and from now, ages. Timbo okay, said it's from ages. The, probably the garbage can, eyes. though. The garbage can is definitely Timbo. Doesn't Edges have a, a signature WMC. on his stuff somewhere where he says Ages? I thought yeah, he had it. Your, or your he had eyes, it. your eyes are going. So <laughs> hmm, I don't. Don't ask me. I'm blind, so <laughs> I can't see those things. But yeah, Timbo did confirm okay, that the okay. vending machine Playing is with my, uh, Ages. Yeah, you're right. Playing with my three seven five knows it. Vending yeah. machine Edges, uh, Ages, trash can Timbo. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I'm. I was right. This, should have shown this one off next week because I have much <laughs> more from ages and have more from ages to come. Hey, so, we're, we'll all be excited to see the, the other stuff you get from ages anyway. So if every week you have stuff to show us, every week we'll be here to see it. So yeah, but, yeah but that's this, a great job he did on that garbage. I love the trash can as well. And that push definitely was another goodie. I just yeah. So, yeah, I Good love stuff, that. Timbo. Actually, uh, I have to order some stuff from him. And then Let's go to the last one of those. Um, that's the one that's packed like factory. Oh, packaging. right. So it came, let me show you. It was in, in a box that was tailor made to fit oh, these. And there was wow. another piece of foam up there. Yeah. And then it's from Making Higgs 6. It's his, it, he's got the two heads in there. Nice. Also, tilt it, tilt it a little bit more. To hmm? tilt it a little bit more towards yeah, it'll the fall end. out. I'll have All to. All right. So that is so cool. So there's this one awesome horned head. I, yeah. I just love it. I love it so much. <clears throat> I'm actually thinking of not putting it on this display, <laughs> but making it custom. That's cool. <laughs> using, Why not? Using, using this for the for the vending uh, for the for the uh, sure. box and box. Hey, it's it's your. It's your museum, man. You could do whatever you want. You're the curator, <laughs> right? So. Uh, hey, Rev. Oh, Rad Toys is here. Welcome, well. man. Good to see you, buddy. Wow. And and the other, yeah, it opens up like this. Ah. Oh, nice. That's really nice, good packaging. Look the only other place that I know that's ever used that kind of foam packaging was Joy Toy back in the day, but they don't do that anymore. It, I, it's amazing. Uh, it's packed so good, nothing could have happened that's to awesome. it, and I'll definitely keep it for the way back. So this, oh, he's wow. got this figure in there um, with the silver hat, and it's She's attached cute. with a magnet. Nice. So it can also be this robot. Where's, where is it in this way? I think. Yeah. So it could also oh, be cool. this, this robot. And then he's made this awesome little spider crap. Can droid. you guys believe that he made Ooh. that out of Greeblies? It's all Greeblies. That, what all he made. Greeblies. It's like all earbud Greeblies. pieces and stuff. It's like your your big mech that you made, pretty much all greeblies. It's just so impressive what you guys can do, man. That's awesome. Really love this piece, and I love I lo also love the packaging. This is um, yeah. customer service. Great and, job. And I didn't even pay for it. So great. Yeah. <laughs> great job, guys. Great job. Thank, thank you all so much. It's oh, this goes in here. This goes in here. This is awesome stuff. And um, I have one last no, two last things. Well, one, two last things I want to go to. I want to show sure. off. I bought this um, um, from. I think you can only buy it at, at the Disney stores in the and in, in Disneyland uh, itself. Oh the, wow! I think it's called a, a Sith artifact. Yeah, that's definitely a Sith artifact. And it uh, also lights up. Oh wow! That looks almost like the um, you know in uh, Rebels when um, Ezra was yeah. in, um, was inside that temple. That's what it reminds me of. Me too. I think it's supposed to be a holocron or something, but yeah, size wise, it's just for me, it's, it's just like a, a Sith temple thing. Yeah, so this will definitely be like the centerpiece of my the market of my brother, the, the Sith nice. village, or something like that. That is so cool. I want to get one of those. Piece. You said you got that at the Disney shop, I th I, yeah. Uh, I to, uh, well, I, I got it on I eBay because online. I didn't go to Disneyland. But I think it's um, it's like exclusive to the Disney to the not Probably. the website, only the shops, the Batu only shops. The shops basically. there, yeah. yeah. That's how they get people to to, to go there to, to go buy there, stuff. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. 
I'm it's not good. going there anytime soon because the prices keep going up. So <laughs> it's going to be a <laughs> so, while before the I last, go there. The last thing I wanted to show, or things I wanted to show, and that will probably it will lead over to your what you're working on, because sure. these are all things I'm going to be working on. Um, I got a mail call from Toy Pizza yesterday. Oh, I am. Cool. Um, they make they make um, one eighteenth figures and heads right. and accessories and their figures. Um, the posability is not that good. I think they have like eight points of articulation. So this is one of the figures. You can turn the leg. They look then nice. you have this. You have a, a hip swivel. Yeah. Just one movement at the arm and oh, ball very, joint very head. Limited. Very, very. And um, but everything just pops off and fits fits together. And um, nice. I mainly bought it for the for the funny heads like this bunny. That's a cool head. Yeah. Who, who's gonna? I'm gonna make him or not that body, but his the head. Um, my 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 custom checks them. Nice. Um, and um, I also got, I went to Ross and bought some TVC figures for $3 for, nice. for customizing. And I just popped on some more of the hats I got. So I've got this oh, cool. bird hat. And I think on that yuck face. That's really cool. I just paint that up black because it already looks like feathers. Yeah. And I think it's going to be a cool bird guy. He got even the claws of his hands. Yeah, that's awesome, paint. man. So. Yeah, this is this is the one. Like then your, your own the, your own raven guy. Yeah. Then there's the oh famine. It's famine here as well. Um oh, welcome, man. So Glad and to then, see you guys all here. There also was this lizard head. I just popped that on of oh, one I of like the Java guys. And you said this is with toy pizza? That's toy pizza, yeah. I got and it's a, and it's an accessory pack that comes with like three hats and a poncho and some other stuff. That's cool. And um, just like this one needs needs some paint and the wash, of course. Right. May, maybe I'll make him the same color as the hands. And then right. he's basically done as well. <laughs> Probably. And so um, cool. the last one is this like hero head they have. Um, it's also in the pack. And oh, I just wow, popped that, that on, cool. on the other guy. And even this just looks like it doesn't need any more work. But exactly. It, <laughs> it's not going to stay like that, but it looks awesome, I think. So yeah, he, yeah. that does look like a hero's head, <laughs> doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, it does. That's so cool. <laughs> that's a, some great pickups, man. Yeah. So that's all I'm going to show today. <laughs> I have more, but there's um, more stuff more incoming. Um. So we'll yeah, have a look at next week for that. And now that I need a drink. Awesome. Thank back you so much you. for sharing those, man. <laughs> and now back to the news. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay. Back to well. The studio. I guess what we should do then is get into our next segment. No, bigger. Uh -uh, smaller. No, it's the one with a hole on the end that curves this way. I think I saw it once before over there with that pile near the circulators. There you go. I always knew you were the smart one. Well, well, well. So here we are. What am I working on? I'm working on a few different things. I like every like you guys know I love starting new projects. So I, I didn't want to disappoint. So here we are with some of the things that I worked on this previous week, as well as some of the other stuff that I was working on the week before. I was touching up a few of those things as well. But let's get into what I worked on this week. So first of all, this is my Gungan Commando. Now, I figured Gungans would actually make really cool commandos because of their agility. It's just that um, we just... Do, sorry, go ahead. Yeah, sorry. This, I love this uh, this this Gungan. You, uh, you definitely have to tell more about it. But I was just going back in the chat what, what I missed while I was sure. talking. And... Um, Justin Welch is asking a question. Uh, oh, okay. Does our Coke taste the same, thing? And that's a good question for me because I, uh, I technically I should be dead by now because I drink <laughs> Coke, Diet Coke, and nothing else. And I've been doing, been doing that for like 30 years now. That's and crazy. There's a show in Germany um, which is called I Bet You, or there used to be a show. So you could yeah. go there and say, I have this special skill, and I bet you I can do this and that. And I was—I right. always said I'm gonna apply, and I say I bet you I can tell you 
with a Diet Coke from any Coke blindfolded where in the world and in which really? country it has been made because they taste differently everywhere. In Europe, you wow. go to make a country and it tastes different. Um, that is so it, cool. This is because they they make it from from like just the grains, they, the chemicals, and then they add the water at the factory, and right. they add different water everywhere. So and they add a slightly different amount of the grain, and um, so yeah. But enough on that. You go. No, that's on. cool. I, I <laughs> love I love getting history lessons and, and factual information. <laughs> that's that's actually really cool. Good question. Thanks, Justin. So yeah, this is my Gungan Commando. I don't have a name for him yet. I haven't created his backstory yet because I'm still working on him. You'll notice his eye is missing. His left eye is missing because I'm going to be putting a uh, mechanical eye there because I want him to be part cyborg because he was in battle and got injured and lost an eye. And I also want to distinguish him from Jar Jar Binks because I know as soon as people saw that, the first thing they thought, oh, Jar Jar, look at Jar Jar. They start making jokes and stuff. So I, I wanted to make him be serious because i know that there are a lot of gungans out there that are actually really good at what they do they're not all like jar jar or the king <laughs> they're not all silly like that so i wanted to make a serious character and so far this is what i've got i use a joy toy body i use his actual arms uh, oh sorry the lower part of his arms and attach it to the joy toy body i actually had to cut his head or his neck off of the actual star wars figure so I can glue it within uh, that joy toy figure. His head's on a ball joint, so he, it can look around. It can move around. He can actually be fairly expressive because the movement's actually really good. I'm saying actually a lot. And it actually, for, again, actually, <laughs> for his lower legs, I chopped off the joy toy's lower legs and glued the Gungan legs on. And I used, uh, I used uh, bake, the baking soda super glue mix, so that way I get a nice bond. There will be uh, the weekly whip with that. There's actually, I have a, quite a few weekly whips that I'm going to be putting them all out in the next coming weeks. I've just been mainly busy with doing some writing because that's also what I've been working on as well. So let's take a look at uh, the other project that I've been working on. So last week, you guys saw the start of this project. So I made a little bit of progress. I try to do a little, little bit on each thing that I'm working on every week. And so this week... On um, this, uh, this is the salvage vehicle that I was making. So, you remember last week I showed you guys a picture of what the salvage vehicle that inspired me looks like. And now I find I, I, next week I'll have a maybe a, a side by side picture again so you guys can see a better look of what uh progress I've been making. And it looks a little bit more like that vehicle now, it's starting to look a little, little bit more like that. Next week, I'm hoping to have lights on the back end of it. There, I have been shooting videos, so you guys will see my process and how I start to build that. And one of those arms, Making Hicks 6, thank you so much for sending that to me with along with a bunch of other Greeblies. And so you can see the left, the arm on the very far end has that blade. That's the arm that Making Hicks 6 uh, sent me. And then the arm on, that's closest to us I actually cut off, or not cut off, I pulled off the laser blade part and put on a Joy Toy mech arm. Uh, Red, um, I'll gladly take like one or two of those um, with the next shipment um, of 3D printed stuff because I can always use a charger head um, for something oh, you, like... Oh, he has gun, like, gun head? Gun gun he head? says he's like 20 chargers in his fodder bin. He's oh, got ideas now, but still there might be some left. By all <laughs> means, if you want to send me some stuff on your next trade, I'll gladly take those as well. Oh, hi there, Fatback. Hey, Fatback's here. Welcome. Basically, anybody, everybody's here now. Yep. So here's the, the next project. This is the last project I'll show you guys today. And it's actually made up of these two droids. So that top droid, which is Dio uh, from the Rise of Skywalker movie, it was a RC robot, very limited in like how it worked. I didn't really like that droid to begin with. I wanted it as a raff in a raffle, so I decided I see a spaceship out of that. And then the the spider droid that that one, the homing spider droid, that one Rad sent that to me in a trade. And it was missing parts and stuff, so I decided to. And one of the legs just broke off, um, so I think that happened in chipping, which happens. So what I've done was I decided to start making a vehicle out of it. And this is what I started to do. Yeah. And uh, I'm going to add thrusters because Rad also sent me some thrusters, some 3D printed thrusters. I'll be putting that on either side of the the, the round body of the, the 
spider droid. So here's a top down view. So that back end <laughs> part there, that uh, yeah, where right, the arms are connected, those two sides. I'll be pulling them out a little bit and adding thrusters. So next week there should be some updates because I have to do some cutting and stuff. This and I looks have to... so cool. The, yeah. the, just if you if you if you just look at the overall shape this thing has, um, it's uh, it's great. I love it already. Oh, thank um, you. I, you know me. I love kit that. bashing stuff. I love kit yeah. Bashing you things. you definitely have an eye for what goes together. I just is just I love thank it. Thank you. I really had a lot of fun with this. I always have fun with the vehicles. That's why I always ask whenever I make trades with people, I always ask them for vehicle parts. It doesn't matter what they are. I'll take it because I can usually find some way of using it in, in one of my projects. And that, my friend, is what I've been working on this past week, along with, like I said, some writing. And I have to take a few pictures for lockdown productions and then hopefully before the end of this week, so maybe by Good Friday, I'll have some... Uh, I'll have the backstory for a, a custom character that he made, and that should be out that by the end of this week. Finally, he's, he's been waiting for me to put that out since last September, so I'm hoping to have that out by this week or by early next week. And that's what I've been <laughs> Red, up to. Red, Red is, um, he says he can't believe you cut up the most amazing droid ever introduced to Star Wars. Uh, LMAO. <laughs> I think he's not talking about the spider droid. He's talking about the lamp. Dio. Dio, Dio, oh yeah. Well, you know that. what? Dio, I used. I actually really. The good thing is, yeah, I, I cut him up and stuff like that. But I actually use all the bits. So like his wheel, that lower wheel, the two round, the two round covers on either side, I used as doors. So, okay. And I added lights to them. So you'll see that as I'm starting to build my edge point station, I'm starting to cool. just lay boxes out and stuff like that. The next step will be to show you some of the build there. Yeah, the chat was also still going on how a, a, a Gungan four pack would be cool. Yes, and, um, I just think so definitely too. Um, four packs like Ewoks, Gungans, Rebel Troopers, generic yeah, Troopers, like those generic are no whatever. Give me, give me more lizards. Give me more pikes. Give me whatever in four packs. That and that's the no thing we've brainer, all been as asking. As I would say exactly like that's what we've all been asking for for so long. We want aliens. Give us four packs of aliens. Doesn't matter, or even if you want to mix them up, they already yeah. have the the tooling for the these aliens. They have the moles already, so why not just give us that? We, they would fly off the shelves, but no, they 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 just do their own thing. Oh well, they don't even have to roll that those out to like the shops actually. Because, uh, if they say mm -hmm. kids are not going to buy it, just have that available on your website like all the time. Exactly, yeah. and we'll but, buy it. Yeah, never well, mind. Let's should go. we get into uh, Greeblies? <laughs> yeah, I think we should get into Greeblies. Let's do that. And now it's time for Greeblies. Greeblies. Oh, my precious. Oh, yes. Anything can be a Greebly. <laughs> <laughs> I love that intro. So, yeah, here we are with Greeblies. So, yeah, we got a. <laughs> we got a few submissions, and um, so yeah, we have a few things that we, we're going to go through here today, and we'll start with Mr. Red Mendo. He actually sent us a really cool uh, project that he did. I'm so, I was so impressed with this. So he took a table. I, I don't know what kind of table. Is this like those serving-type tables? or I think it's like like a bar table. To yes, next, yes, you're to right. Your, to your recliner or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. So he used that old table, and look what he made out of it. He made a Jedi training training circle, which is just brilliant. So the, the paintwork looks really good. He added, like, a the carpeting in the middle to give it that, that to tie it into the Jedi Council's room. It just looks brilliant. This is an excellent job. He always comes up with some spectacular Greebly yeah. bills. That and and his, his whole basement looks like that. It's all full oh, of man. ideas like that, transforming oh. everyday stuff into a world. If so, I go to Germany, I have to go visit him. Yeah, <laughs> I want to see be, his house. <laughs> he'll actually be on WMC, I think, the twelfth, because oh, I'm gonna cool. be I'm gonna be there too as his interpreter because he's not like that fluent in English. Right. So yeah, this is gonna be an awesome WMC. I can't show. wait to see that. That should be really good. But that that's brilliant. Like that's that's amazing work. And it's like the fact that like you know how you said I can I have a good eye on 
doing kit bashing, he has a good eye in converting just everyday Definitely. stuff into amazing things. And the thing is, when you look at the picture on the right, it doesn't look like it was ever that table. It actually looks like it's a place that you could buy from Hasbro because it doesn't even look like it's wood. Great job, yeah. man. Great job. It, I think it's wood. Yeah, yeah it is. No, it's, it's yeah, yeah, it doesn't even look like it's... Oh, sorry. I was confused by it because I was reading your <laughs> chat. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Come on, focus, man. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, I'm here. I'm here. Just kidding. And look, you Be even have mind. something. Here's, oh, yeah. Here, here's something that you sent in. I ate something again. <laughs> yeah. So th for those of you guys in North America, what you guys know what this is. Most of you guys should know what this is. I hadn't it's, seen one of those before, actually. It's yeah, that's why that's why I say North America, because I don't think it's something that's done all around the world. So for those who aren't from North America, what this is, is this goes into the middle of a pizza box to keep the box from not touching the, the pizza itself. So this goes on top of the pizza, and then the top of the box just rests on top of this, so the the box doesn't touch the, the pizza. Because back in the day, that used to happen. When they used to deliver pizza, the cheese would stick to the top of the box, and it's just it was just a big mess. So somebody came up with this brilliant idea to use those. But Mr. Lord of Thane... Just like uh, lockdown productions, just like I do, just like many people do, th these would make perfect tables, especially for like a bar setting or something exactly. like that. They would be a perfect table for that. So that's brilliant. Thank you so much so, for saying that in. I, I, I that. see a pattern, though, because somehow my Greeblies always have something to do with some food I ate, mostly <laughs> chocolate. So, um, that's mm. true, actually. <laughs> so it's, it's always delicious dirty. stuff, though. At least it's good stuff. It's good, tasty stuff. It's not, if it's not pretzels, it's chocolate. If it's not chocolate, it's pizza. <laughs> Thank you so much for sharing that with us. <laughs> and next up, we have my Greeblies that I wanted to share with you guys. So as you guys can see, most of the stuff that we try to share on the show is just everyday stuff, everyday junk you could find anywhere or stuff that you, that's usually inexpensive in stores, which is like some of the stuff that I have here. So first up, I have an old CD case. Some of you people are probably too young to know what a CD is, <laughs> but it's a compact disc. This is a compact disc case, and it can be used for many things. So on the picture on the left is the actual case itself looking straight at it. And the top part of it, you can see, is a clear plastic. So you could use that to make windows. Just be careful when you're cutting this because it's a hard plastic, so it is kind of hard to cut. So be careful when you're doing that. And then that lower black part can be used like a like a wall piece or a door or something of that nature. And then the picture on the right that I'm showing you guys, or I guess for some of you might be your left, I don't know. That's the edge of the casing. Now, the reason why I'm showing that is because there's a guy on YouTube by the name of Toy Giante. I say Giante, but he says Giante. Because I guess he's he's you know the official language, but Toy Giante, as I say, uses those to make headlight covers. So they look like if you cut them at the right uh, spots, it actually looks like uh, headlight covers. So if you, especially if you have LEDs behind it, it helps diffuse the light, but then also gives it more of that headlight look at a smaller scale. So that's a that was a brilliant idea, and I wanted to share that with you that's guys. Cool, it's really a cool idea. It's brilliant, yeah. Now that I look at it, yeah, that's awesome. And then next up on the left hand side are those bendy straws. Those are starting yeah. to become less and less uh, available because of, people are trying to get rid of plastic. But they they actually forbidden in Europe by now. Oh really? Okay, yeah. so people in Europe forget what I'm showing you here. <laughs> but you guys in North America, where we're very wasteful and we destroy the planet, you guys should be able to find this in either a dollar store. Or if in some stores, some restaurants still kind of have them. They uh, so the bendy I, straws. There's a. It's actually it's an advantage that we don't have them anymore because the replacements that are like some oh kind gosh. of paper with a with a special I coating. I hate them, and they're even worse for the environment. But they take yep. the paint much better than those. So far as well. Do, yeah. <laughs> so what I what I normally suggest is you like lightly sand it just to yeah. give it to take off some of the smoothness. And then you can paint them, and they make great pipe piping and stuff like that. So you can use them as pipe works in your in your station or your outposts or wherever you want to use them. And then on the right to that of that is a printer tray. So this is like the old school printers. And um, 
I had an old one that you know stopped working, so I pulled the tray off, and I could use it for many different things. I'm probably going to use it as a platform because it does extend out. I might use it as a landing platform or a bridge that comes out to the landing platform. So they Time can we get some real life Phoenix Mutant Ninja Turtles, Bjorn. <laughs> he's uh, <laughs> still talking about about the how the straws are not banned, and he says just uh, I guess fuck the turtles then. <laughs> yeah. Hey, this is this is a PG thirteen show. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> it's not. It's whatever we want. I just be. I just learned yesterday that um, even smoking, if somebody is smoking in the movie, is a reason for PG now. So it's you guys crazy. are crazy. No, that's <laughs> American. Americans are crazy. Whoever does the PG rating. Well, that's what we have for Greeblies today. So that um, that is awesome stuff. This awesome stuff. So every week, if you guys have Greeblies you want to share with us, by all means, either DM me on Instagram or DM Lord of Thane on Instagram, and then I'm send really us a taking, couple of pictures. I'm really taking away that idea with the with the sides of the CD casing for yeah, headlights really and stuff like that. That's really cool. I like. Like that. I had never thought of that either until no. I saw him do that. I'm like, oh no, my that gosh, is- that's brilliant. While you were talking about it, it was like turning my head and looking and at it. It's like, yeah, it, right? Look, it's really cool. I love it. Especially if you cut it to the right size. <laughs> yeah. And then especially, too, if you put an LED behind it yeah. and it diffuses the light, it's just it perfect awesome. for the that's uh, 118 scale. Yeah. So definitely try that out. If you guys have old CD cases, you older people, I know you younger guys probably don't have CDs because you make your playlists from the cloud. From the internet. <laughs> but anyways, that's uh the Greebies for this week. And I think we're kind of going pretty pretty good with time, I think, right? Um, we're it's uh 40 time. minutes now. So oh, yeah, cool. we... yeah, we're doing pretty good on time because right now we're we're actually you know what? Before we go into the um creator's corner, let's do some commercials. After these messages, we'll be right back. Yes. So uh, just showing off our merch because, you know, it's yeah, really I, cool I, stuff. I wasn't familiar with, with the stuff, and um, I just wanted to point out that the magnets, if you buy them, mm-hmm. they're really cool, and they have a decent size, and um, right. also the stickers. So Yeah, um, the stickers. Like, I actually got the sticker you sent me. I totally wasn't expecting it. All of a sudden, I'll get a sticker. I can't wait to use that in my station someplace, so... That's yeah. pretty cool. Well, yeah, check out our merch. The description, the uh, links will be in the description after the show, and so we gladly would appreciate. Sorry, we would definitely appreciate the support. But hey, buy whatever you like. If you want to just buy some stickers, buy some stickers. But we would definitely appreciate the support and the free advertising. Well, I guess it wouldn't be free for you guys, but <laughs> but anyways. We're going to later on in the show, as I said, one of you guys may be the lucky winner of a Pirates of the Galaxy hoodie in whatever color you guys want. One of you guys will be the lucky winner. So we'll so get to that how, in a little bit. How do you bit. want to go about it? Do you want to explain the rules now? Then sure. We can yeah. You know what? Let, yeah. Let's do that. Let's, uh, let's, and uh, they, they can all now. come up with their guests while we do Frank. Yeah. So that way, what you guys can do is I'll think about a number track. between <laughs> one and 500. So as don't start throwing them out there yet. So between one and five hundred. Actually, you know what? Let's make it a little bit easier. One and three hundred. We'll lower that to one. Between one and three hundred, the number is in there. The closest person to that number, if they don't get it directly, will win. Without you going all, over. You only have one go. Yes, you only have one guess. So don't go flooding the chat yeah, with Timbo. a whole bunch of guess. You get one guess. <laughs> And you can go right now. Well, well wait, Kimbo is we'll saying 678, um, which... You went is... over. Eh, you lost. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> I, that's what I said. You guys see, you guys are too quick. Between 1 and 300 without going <laughs> over, 
it's the one that's closest is the one that's gonna win. It's like the price is right. Okay. So let's go to our creators corner and then let's All right. I'll try and check the chat. Um, so yeah, somebody... as we're going through yeah. the creators corner, check the chat and I'll I'll uh, take care of uh, who we're going to be going over today. Awesome. So this week, we're going to be looking at somebody who's a staple in the community, and he's been he's been around for a very oh. long time. So it's Agent Frank Diorio. More than 300. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, guys. If you go over 300, you're not going to win. You're, you're just going to lose. So the number is between 1 and 300. Should we give them another try? <laughs> All good. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, Frank Diorio is the person we want to focus on today because he is awesome. This guy has been around for a while because if you know Star Wars Celebrations or you've been to the previous Star Wars Celebrations, you might have seen some of the projects that he was involved in. He was responsible for coming up with from Star Wars Celebration. I think it was the second one. He mm -hmm. started doing uh, dioramas right there at the celebration and he actually got people involved that um, either beforehand I believe he started uh, telling them what to start building I, I or think while you're there first, you could build the stuff. very first time uh, that not but after that he was he was they were making up a theme like we do most Eisley yes. or we do Hoth and um, then he was even giving away like proof or on the internet you could download his blueprints so you, right. you could build something or do you'd come up with your own stuff and um, mm -hmm. then on the day of the celebrations uh, everything would come together and they'd have these huge massive yeah displays. it was it was just awesome so if you guys go back to if check out his website so i believe it's the oreo the um, diorama workshop dot com go check out his website check out his youtube and check out his instagram to see his awesome work so we're gonna look at his instagram today so we're gonna see some of the stuff that he's done sorry go ahead those of you that are as old as we are might remember him as noob noobs universe yes um, yep, 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 yep. Um, <laughs> but he, he moved his website to frank diorio's workshop yeah, yeah. the workshop yeah so he that's yeah he actually rebranded it and it's amazing. So basically what Frank does, and he actually, before we even get into like what he does for the community, he actually used to work for ILM. So for those who know, that's Industrial Light and Magic. That's uh, George Lucas's baby. And he used to work there as a compositor. So he actually used to do special effects. Like this guy is, is awesome. He does everything. But then he brought his talents to our community and he does some amazing things. So if you go check out his website as well as his uh, YouTube, hey, he provides tutorials on how to build some iconic Star Wars sets. And uh, he provides you with decals, so like printouts that you could use. There's some that you could buy that are more detailed. There are some that are absolutely free. He provides you with blueprints so that you can put those together. And on top of all that, he does tutorials so you can see step by step how he does things. So this is to give you an idea of some of the things that he does. So here's a set that he's building right now or he, he built just recently. And it's just awesome. It's just all out of paper and just the, the, the measurements that are required and all that kind of stuff is pretty, pretty crazy how you put all this stuff together. So here's ooh, there we go. It's a little bit slow. So here's a, a little bit another step of um, what he's building here. It's just awesome the detail though, and actually his stuff now, his decals now are way more detailed than, than the ones he used to be yeah. he used to make. Because the ones that he used to make kind of had a little bit more of like a an animated cartoon kind of feel. These and ones uh, feel a little bit more realistic. And is he still? Um, he's still doing it the same way, though. So, um, he always did like you, you get sheets or you get like yes. printable sheets that you can then glue onto onto like a, a thicker Fold paper, board, or thicker yep. cardboard, and then just cut them out. And you, you already have like the edges that then glue together yep. and everything is it's, uh, and this it's is brilliant. amazing stuff. Yeah. So here's here's his hot build. So as you can see, I believe the walls on either side are made out of foam that he actually cut into with uh, a, like a, 
uh, was it those those soldering guns? I yeah. believe he cut those uh, the lines into that. He uses like diff just everyday stuff like the straws that I showed you earlier. He built a tent of four engine room. Oh, that's one of his videos. We'll skip that. Um, but yeah, here's another piece that he built, and that piece that he's holding up there is used in so many different sets in Star Wars. And he actually goes into that explanation on where it's used. So that same piece that you see there is used when Luke and Leia are swinging across that chasm yeah. uh, in the, on the Death Star. That's actually one of the things that he attaches his grappling hook to. It actually attaches to that. That same yeah. thing turned sideways is where is used in the Tanta Force scene with Princess Leia when the stormtroopers are coming. It's the same thing, but just turned sideways. And, and then, the, sorry, go ahead. And the same thing turned upside down uh, is turning out to be a light, for example, in Lady Proxima's lair. And yes, uh, on, on your build. Exactly. <laughs> That's and, awesome. Um, yeah, it's 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 this piece screams Star Wars, as you said. Oh yeah. Um, you you put that in any diorama, and you're all it's immediately a, a, it says Star Wars Star Wars. set yeah exactly and I guess that's like real life because as soon as they put that in a scene it looks Star Warsy right yeah. so brilliant so this guy is a genius with how he does his thing he actually built the trash compactor uh room here's uh here's one of the pictures from that I built my trash compactor room to his blueprints oh really yeah, it's it's just brilliant, and he actually has a. I think he actually even challenged himself to build that entire thing in like thirty minutes. <laughs> like, look at that! Yeah. And he does he does a lot of comparison shots. So when you check out his website, you'll see he does a lot of comparison shots where he shows you the real image and then the image of his toy setup. And look yeah. at look at the detail, like this insane, brilliant stuff. Um, everybody remember there's a um, giveaway going on. Give us a number between one and 300, and uh, I know. everybody has one go. I know the stuff that I'm showing you is Prime just still jaw dropping, but Prime City is here now, and Chase oh, and wow. is here, and Toy Box Multiverse. So I was just um, repeating um, the rules. So, them yeah, a heads up in case they didn't, they didn't hear it. So, yeah, today we're giving away a hoodie, a Pirates of the Galaxy hoodie. All you have to do is guess a number between 1 and 300 without going over. The one that's closest to the number that I already pre-selected. So Lord of Thane knows which number. Just before the show, I gave him that number so he knows what it is. Yep. And just in one case go. you guys doubt us, I can show you guys later in the, in the conversation. And you, have, you guys have one go. And Adrian, yes, um, everybody who went over 300 on their first go have a second go. <laughs> yeah anyone who went over 300 you get a second chance so we, we'll, let's pretend that you guys never said the, the number over 300 so here's some of as you can see he's been around for a while so like doing these types of things and he actually has a comparison of some of his things well, what they look like before and what they look like now so definitely check out his Instagram show him some support I'm surprised he doesn't have way more followers on Instagram so by all means, go and give him some love. Go and give him some love on YouTube. He's all he's on all the socials. So he's on Facebook. Facebook, I think, is where he's the most active. Facebook and YouTube is, I think, is where he's the most active. But definitely check out all his socials because you won't be disappointed. He has some awesome things. And you could learn a lot. I learned so much from him. Uh, like, for example, how to cut foam board properly without, without uh, getting those little squiggly parts to make sure... Um, uh, he uses like a uh, sticker printer paper to do uh, a lot of the back walls. And so, yeah, here's I'm going to actually show you things that were actually put to use by Lord of Thane. I'll show you guys that in a little bit. But just, just want to kind of go through some of these just to give you guys an idea of how his work looks. Like, look at this. And it, it, just to show you scale, he has the figures beside it. Like, I'm just so impressed by his work. And is this so amazing how he does this for the community? That's how you know someone's truly passionate about what they do is oftentimes they'll do it for free. You know what I mean? And he does a lot of that for free, but he also has to pay the bill. So there are some things in his shop that you could buy, but he will definitely provide you with a lot of awesomeness so that you can build some really cool sets. His Death, <laughs> Death Star pieces are really good. Yeah, sorry, my chair dress just broke underneath me, so I had to change my chair. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you had too much pizza, man. 
The guy's, a, the guy's been in America for a week and already he's breaking cheers. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I'm just, gonna, I'm just kind of going through some of his work because you guys get an idea. Like, look at this. Yeah. Like, if you, if you, like, I'm kind of, <laughs> I'm legally blind. So, if I squint my eyes, that actually looks real to me. <laughs> yeah. Detail, all, all his stuff, if, if you if you light it and take pictures, it all looks completely oh, yeah. real, even though it's just cardboard and some decals. But it looks exactly. so good. So here, here's an example of the printout stuff that you can uh, print out to start building some of your sets. So yeah, definitely go check out his his website. Here's an uh, here's an example of what it, the, some of the printouts look like close up. But this is so brilliant because before he didn't actually see how there's like the 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 weathering on on the printout itself. Like how it looks like there's like Whoa. oil dripping and stuff like that. He didn't used to do that. Yeah, all his Justin, new stuff. Look at that. Justin just says um, he's got pictures of his sail barge are on Frank's uh, visitors page. Yeah, he has a visitors, oh, really? a visitors page nice. where you can, if he likes your stuff, you can you can uh, have your stuff up there as well. And you could be famous. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, this brilliant, brilliant stuff. I just love, I just love when people do things like this for the community, just, just out of the pure love of art. And it's just brilliant to see that. Last week we had James from uh, Rebel Base Build. He same thing. He is his approach is different though. His approach is three D modeling. So he uses digital tools, and he also does scratch building as well. But he does digital tools st type stuff, whereas Frank is more all practical kinds of things. And it's just printouts. Not one's better than the other. I think here's that 30 minute build thing I was talking you, to you guys about. Yep. But yeah, definitely check out his page. We can be here all day, but I hope you guys have been putting through your guests. Oh, look at this. That is. Brilliant. Yeah, that's the new Death Star stuff he's now putting out. Yeah, and the thing he is, he revisited like these were his first uh, things: Death Star and and yeah. Um, the and the star destroyer I think it was Titan four yeah yeah and and he's he revisited them and um, upgraded them and they are awesome yeah it's just it's just so crazy especially the new updated stuff they just look so awesome like the details is a lot better than what it used to be like look at the the pan the little paneling thing on the left hand side there towards the left the bottom part of the screen like look at the detail in that. Yeah. It's just brilliant. And the, the coloring now is a lot better. I think yeah, it's maybe because he also has more time now that he's retired from uh, special probably. effects. And actually, his birthday is the day, I think it's the day before yours. Yeah, the day before yours. So he's March 14th, yeah. just before your birthday. I wanted to do the show then, but obviously I got sick and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, definitely check out his website. You won't be disappointed with all of his yeah. stuff. And, and even and even if you if you don't build it the way like he he's intending it to be built, like mm -hmm. as I said, printing it out, picking it up and then cutting it, you can always use his decals and his blueprints. Ah, there you go. Exactly. Um, um for your own builds. Like and that's what um, I used to do for my background pictures. I used to just put this glued on a flat piece and then put it in the background of my shots. And some people are like, Oh, where'd you get that piece? I'm like, just go to this website and print it out. I had a whole whole page full of like of just all his decals and I started printing them all out. Yeah. But yeah, so so, here's some examples of what the Lord of Thane has built, and he can give us some de details. Yeah. So this is this is my my huge um um Death Star hangar set uh, display with the, the TVC Falcon in there. And especially those those light uh, beams that run mm -hmm. up the sides. Um, those pillars that have yeah. these peculiar angles, those are yeah. all blue. Uh, those are all I, I I cut them and um, I made them myself. But the the blueprints and the measurements I took from from Frank's uh, website because he had them to be built from cardboard, right. and I just copied the measures and um, yeah. So this is the advanced step. Uh, you can you can use his blueprints to to sort of make your own stuff. Right. <clears throat> but you can also like as if you if you want to show the the red, yeah, that one on, uh, in the top left. That's mm -hmm. the the red control room um, yeah. where where um, ab above the the hangar where the Falcon is in the in in a New Hope. Yep. In the Death Star, and that's just that is cardboard um, decals from Frank and built 
exactly the way he told you to build it. Yep. And all I did is punch some holes in the decals, um, stick some um, translucent uh, red tape behind that and right. uh, some LEDs so that the computer screens will, lit up, will, uh, uh, will light up. That's cool. But, but that's all I did and it looks perfect. And um, the advanced step on the other, uh, on, the, on the right side, the... Mm -hmm. um, the, That's the uh, uh, conference the room. The conference right? room, exactly. He's got a cardboard version of that as well. And right. I, again, used uh, um, his blueprints um, uh, more or less to, to get my measures for my right. setup, which is a bit huge, uh, larger than his one would be. Oh, cool. And um, But still, um, his blueprints are so good. You can either just, as I said, with the red control room, you just do it the way he's intended uh, uh, it to be done, or you'd use them for your own builds. You, can, you give something an imperial look, you give something a rebel base look, just with, with the, the, the different pieces he's got. Um, and right. of course, um, for all of you out there with advanced technology, like just, uh, Jason Jensen is here, who, <laughs> who's got oh, yeah. all the, the laser, laser cutters company, and all that stuff. And, and all that, you can just scan his blueprints and use them um, oh, yeah. For the for the laser cutting, uh, that's what I did with my. I have a a, a plotter that uh, cuts cardboard, so right. I scanned his his blueprints and cut the cardboard with that. So that's yeah. brilliant. That's awesome stuff. Like it, it's just so cool. Like I said, the detail that he puts into all this stuff, and that's a lot of work. Like when you think about what goes into these builds, like even with Rebel base builds, all the work you don't see the work behind the scenes. You only see the final product, or maybe you might see a few pictures here and there of them putting stuff together. But we're talking like hours and hours of work that goes into this stuff. So that's one of the reasons why we like to showcase these people, because not only do they do this for us, but they, they just do it because for the love of it. So like, yeah. why not show them off, right? So definitely go and show them some support. Go and show Frank some support. He definitely deserves it. He's definitely earned it. And you won't be disappointed and you guys will come up with some brilliant things so if, if you use some of his uh blueprints you can make like like uh Lord of Thane said you can make some of your own set you don't actually have to follow exactly all the details you can just take what you want from them and build some Air of your own is killing me. <laughs> <laughs> all right so before we uh go and uh see who's won i did want to talk about the monthly challenge because this is the last week for the monthly challenge you have until tuesday of next week so tuesday april 2nd is the deadline to submit your street scene or your street product or whatever it might be just send that into us so five pictures maximum up to one minute for your video and uh or or both if you want to do both that's fine as well uh, we've already got some awesome submissions. I can't wait to show them off. So Devastation Station, thank you very much. Jerry, thank you very much. Lord of Thane, thank you very much for your submissions. So those guys are all ready to go. We're just, we have the slides already. So next week, we're ready to show them off. I'm actually working on mine. I haven't done too much work on it. So my vendor, which is a, a gun uh, vendor, I'm just using a box with a lot of like little weapons and stuff like that. So I might actually even use some of Frank's printouts in the background. Why not? And uh, the other person that's here that actually you can ask for printout stuff is uh, Wenzilla, Josh. He actually on uh, Instagram, you can always reach out to him and ask him, hey, can I use some of those awesome um, pictures that you've created? Because he has like um, Jawa Pawa. He has uh, Zilla Fuel. Uh, the, Zilla sorry, Gamma Fuel. Fuel. Uh, he has uh, uh, the beer. <laughs> <laughs> the beer that's actually the, the name beer. of the yeah. bread the beer this barbados all the really amazing things that he's put together so you can always reach out to him on instagram and ask him for some printouts he'll gladly send you some some uh decals that you can print out for your uh your station so do we have some guests so far oh we have we have uh, quite a few guests uh guesses and um you remember the range, number right they range from very low to 300 and some even above but um yeah. when <laughs> so all the ones that are above 300 too bad you're out <laughs> when Silla, he said 301 so he's out <laughs> <laughs> we told you several times man <laughs> so i i already know who the winner is because i kept track and as you said awesome. nobody nobody guessed the right number but okay. someone got pretty close um, all right so, so yeah. 
So we, so I guess we, we should stop it here because we've basically been telling them the Justin whole says show. you can always email um, the the prints as well if if you if we want them. And yes, Josh, I'll send you my email because I would have them in better quality. I'd love that. Yeah, that's true. You'll get better quality via email because you can send <laughs> oh, bigger Oh, Red, files. you should get an extra shirt for that. He says it's four twenty. <laughs> you automatically get a shirt just for that, buddy. <laughs> uh, no, that's still more than three hundred, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> three zero zero. Don't go over. <laughs> Anyways, he's so, out, so he doesn't win. So, so who like... is our lucky winner? Okay, so we call it a day. The um, well, the very first guess was Bjorn. And um, he was he was like leading the board a long time. Uh, he right. guessed two hundred forty-seven. Ooh, um, very but then close. Crime City came in, taking the lead and winning the whole thing with two hundred and ten, which is really close to. Wow, that. that's really close. The actual number we had was two hundred and twenty-two. Exactly. Awesome job. So, is it? You said it was Grime City that came Grime up with City, that. Yeah. So Grime you City. are our winner. Reach out to me on Instagram. So it's pirates of the Ga pirates underscore of underscore oh, the underscore galaxy underscore. Crime City. Um, what's his other handle? This this, this district three. Oh three. nine. Yeah. District you know, three. Or, or three. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, just reach out to me. Or actually, I'll I'll reach out to you after the show, and then you can just let me know um, your size, the size that you want, the color that you want, and then we'll share out, you can share your uh, mailing address and I'll send that out to you, um, before, by the end of the, the, the month. So early, early next week, I'll send that out to you or I'll order it and then they'll send it to you <laughs> and I'll let you know when the order has been done. And guys, that's that's our show today. You guys, thank you so much for showing up. You guys have been fabulous. You guys are amazing uh, every week. But I truly appreciate you guys. But oh yeah, I forgot. I didn't finish. Did I tell them about the monthly challenge? I did. I right? have to. Yeah, we we talked about the monthly challenge. I have to. Okay. Yeah, Grime City. He says yay, and then he says, "Bro, it's the first time I won anything uh, ever." Awesome. So and you he, deserve he said, it because you make amazing stuff, buddy. Yeah, and he, he says I'll send you guys something in return. And um, oh, you don't have to do wow, that, but I appreciate um, it. Who else wants a shirt? Uh, because, <laughs> 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 because you said so. If you if you if you've been living in a box and you haven't checked out Crime City District 03, yeah, um, you go need to check out head stuff. over there. I'm an addict. I I think I've got every design in one eighteenth. Um, he made so far, and um, yeah, his stuff is amazing. And he's a fellow Canadian, so he's awesome just cool. because of that. <laughs> we both live in the same province. Me, him, and Rad, we all live in the same province. So yeah, awesome. Ontario represent. None of you guys Yay. know where that is. <laughs> well, yeah, thank you so much for all you guys for showing up. We are so grateful for you guys. We're, we're so thankful for your support and the enthusiasm that you guys show every week. Don't forget that every week you guys can send us a DM about what Greeblies you want to send us, like how you use stuff. So send us a picture of the Greebly itself, and then maybe if you have used it, send us a picture of how you use it, or if you haven't used it, just send us a little description on how you would use that particular Greebly. And so we thank you guys all for that. Don't forget the deadline is Tuesday for the monthly challenge, so be sure to send your pictures and videos in for that. And then on Wednesday of next week, episode 11, we'll be showcasing all of the awesome um, submissions that we got. And part two of my... Uh, oh, yeah, his, his goodies. <laughs> Exactly. Well, folks, pirates, take care. Thank you so much for showing up. And for those who couldn't watch us live, I hope you're enjoying the replay. Take care, pirates. Keep on building. <laughs>